Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews and if you're not new welcome back guys it's so great to see you so tonight I am going to do a little comparison video of two bags that are in my collection and they're very similar but yet a little bit different and those two bags that I'm going to show you are my speedy bandolier in the size 25 and Damier Yaben versus my coach Ruby size 25 satchel and I'm gonna kind of go over a lot of the differences they are very similar in many ways they're close in size they're very similar in shape and style but there's a lot of differences so I wanted to kind of go over those because a lot of people actually have this bag over here and they're considering buying one of these bags just as kind of like an additional everyday bag these are great everyday bags and they're multi-carry um, you can carry them crossbody, shoulder bag, you can carry them all in the same ways. But I just thought I would go ahead and kind of go over each one of these and then um, we'll kind of go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and start off first with talking about the Ruby Satchel. There's a lot of reviews online of the Speedy B25 and I have one of my own and I'm going to link it down below. So um, this is part of the Coach 1941 collection and it is made out of all genuine gloved hand pebbled leather. And when it's made out of gloved hand pebbled leather, that is always something to kind of keep in mind is the actual weight of these bags. This bag comes in, I just weighed it at 2.3 pounds and that's empty. I tucked the strap on the inside. So that kind of gives you an idea of even without stuff inside of it, it's 2.3 pounds, okay? So I think the things that attribute to the weight, of course, is the thickness of the leather. This bag does have four feet on the bottom, okay? Which is really, really nice. They even have like the little um, leather reinforcements there on the bottom for the feet. You've got two leather strips that are smooth gloved hand leather on the front and the back. And then here on the sides, you have like a little decorative turn lock there underneath where the zipper falls and it is on the other side as well, okay? And then as far as more decorations, you do get this little key clochette here on the front, which actually has a lot of weight to it. And then on top of that, you get the nice 1941 hang tag too. So it kind of goes back as like a little homage to the um, rogues that would come out with both sets of the key clochette and this. Cause now on rogues, they only have the 1941 hang tag. So either way. So you've got the two beautiful, smooth gloved hand rolled handles, um, perfectly glazed. On the inside, you've got this nice, I attached the strap. Um, the strap, by the way, is adjustable with seven adjustments. And the one thing I will say about this though, that is kind of a negative, and I wish they would have done it differently, more like the LV Speedy, is had a three part um, strap. So you could actually make this a shorter shoulder bag, more like that rather than having it long because you can wear it crossbody, which is fine. But if you want to just wear it on your shoulder, it's a long shoulder bag then. And it's just kind of like, I guess you could buy a different shoulder strap if you wanted to. But um, on the inside, it's really, really dark in there. It's actually a honey suede. It's real suede interior. And um, you've got two pockets on one side and then you have a zipper pocket here on this side with the Coach Creed. Um, so again, this bag is just beautifully made, very beautifully made. It is um, priced right now at 550 retail. However, they are involved in the 25% off Coach sale for the Labor Day weekend sale. One thing that I do notice about the Ruby is the zipper. Okay. And this bag is hard to zip. It is hard to zip. However, if you have wax and you want to run it along your zipper, 
that will help it. That really will. And I think just using it, this is a fresh bag for me. So it is gonna take a little bit of time for this zipper to like give. Um, the cool thing too is as you can see here, the zipper does go all the way down to the side. So that gives you a nice big open mouth to feed your items in and out of, okay? So that is a nice feature. It's a you know different feature than the Canvas LV Speedy. So um, that pretty much is a little bit of a rundown here of the Ruby 25. Again, lots of little key features that are a difference from the Speedy B. But just holding these two bags, you can for real feel the weight difference. Like 2.3 pounds, 1.3 pounds, okay? And that's measuring it with my strap tucked on the inside. Um, so yes, excellent bags. Now, one big difference again between the Ruby and the Speedy, this is gonna give into your body a lot more. It's actually gonna smoosh in, like when you have your items in and you're wearing this bag either like underneath your shoulder or like crossbody, of course the canvas material is gonna smush in. And it's gonna sag and it's gonna drape and it's gonna be gorgeous. This bag is absolutely beautiful. And again, just the lightness of the Speedies are, you know, they're fantastic. Um, I feel like they're very craft, they're crafted very well. If you get a good one, um, these do retail for $1,810, I believe, right now in the United States. So, um, but yeah, it's kind of nice to have this bag. I just absolutely love it. Um, you've got the strap connections there on the side, which is just like the Ruby. Again, of course, we know that there's zero feet on the bottom of a Speedy, um, just one continuous piece of canvas and um, leather accents, one big open compartment. The interior of a Speedy is textile lining, so it's not suede. Um, attributing to the lightness of the Speedy. And, you know, they're just great grab-and-go bags, just very practical, very great for every day. What I do wanna kinda show you guys is how things look differently in both bags. Um, as you can see here, they're both 9.75 inches across, but the Speedy's eight inches tall and this um, ruby is seven inches tall. So you've got about an inch difference there. And then in the width, the Speedy is a tiny bit wider. They measured this at six inches and this is 5.75, okay? So super, super close in size. Um, I want to show you kind of what my items look like in the bag. I'm gonna to try to point the angle down into my lap so you can see. I will tell you just from using this one, the items that I put in here, which are my everyday items, do fill up the bag quite well. Whereas with this one, I feel like there's like a tiny bit more room and I think it's because it is a little bit bigger of a capacity of a bag. I feel like there's, there's more capacity in this one, okay? But still, you get great capacity in this because as you know, like they've made you know, the Speedy 20 and the um, mini Speedies, you know, all the little small Speedies, and they still fit a lot of stuff. So um, anyways, okay, I wanna go ahead and show you what this stuff looks like in here. Okay, so I've never really done an angle like this before on my channel, but I think it might be really easy for me to just kind of show you how things go inside of this bag and what they look like in comparison to her. So, um, I'm gonna do both. So I'm gonna kind of show you. So just to start off with like my larger pieces, I've got my Fendi sunglasses. Um, and I am so sorry, this is like a black hole. So I'm just gonna chuck in all my essentials. Um, I'm using this larger coach wristlet as my catch-all. Um, and I've got my phone here, regular iPhone. Of course a Max will fit. This is definitely a big bag. And then I've got my Rosalie coin purse, my card holder for my business cards. And then I've got my um, regular seeing glasses. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that all in here. And I popped in some gum too, but 
As you can tell, this bag is quite full. Like, and it's, it has to weigh like four pounds now. Like, I am not kidding. But everything's kind of more close to the top of the zipper here in this bag. It's definitely filled in. But I just feel kind of like there's a little bit more room in the Speedy. So, um, that kind of shows you there the capacity wise and then this zipper again just kind of work on it you guys if you have some wax i definitely recommend using some wax on your zippers and then just the more and more you use it the better off it's going to be with this bag but it's just so beautiful and it really is a great bag so let's go ahead and place everything that i've put in here into my speedy just to kind of show you the capacity difference between the two um a big contributor i was kind of thinking about it because of the capacity could be the suede actually taking up some space in the bag in itself um let me quickly do this So now that I've actually switched everything over into the Speedy, I just wanted to show you there's a ton more room there on the top, okay? Like a lot more room. I would have to say I could definitely get my hand in and out of this bag a lot easier than the Ruby. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more space there. And just my contents are kind of flying around and floating around a little bit more in this bag. Whereas with this one, everything was kind of more contained and just kind of capsulized. And then this one's definitely um, more loose, but more comfortable too, in a way. So probably a full, again, a full pound lighter because they measured out at a pound of a difference. So. Um, just wanted to kind of show you that capacity for the capacity purpose of the bags. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video with some modeling shots. So just to kind of show you what they both look like on, um, wearing it shoulder style, crossbody. Um, so basically that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions about either one of these bags, please let me know in the comment section down below. I just find them both to be so beautiful in their own ways. So thank you guys. Have a great day.